Out. Next up, four rounds, lightweights, Rodolfo Armento, Sharif Bogary. And if you've never seen Sharif Bogary, well, he's been on our cards before. This is how he enters the ring. Is he's from in Uganda. Town? Circus in town. Full lion headdress in a cage with his own entourage singing as he enters the ring in full lion garb as a caged animal being released into the pit. Well, we know he can walk around pretending to look like a lion. Now we got to find out, can he fight like a lion? The entertainment of his manager, Jimmy Alex, continues in Vegas. He is based here in Vegas as Bogary, and Armenta is from Nogales, Mexico. 7-1-1, one, one, 24 years old, 139 pounds, 5 foot 7. I'll tell you one thing that Bogari has done already. He had, we have Dennis Allen, a former fighter, who does the punch numbers with us, and his children are here. And they yes. got very excited. They thought the circus was here. They thought it was. And they said, Daddy, I thought you were taking it to a fight. You brought it to the circus. No, it's just a Sharif Bogari fight. So from Uganda, comes to the United States in 07. And he runs his record to 11-0 with six knockouts. Although, he fought off TV when we were in Vegas last month. And he was hurt in that fight. He ended up surviving it and winning a six-round decision. So, who knows? Maybe tonight's the night that Bogary cannot escape things. We will see. Can he stay unbeaten? Veteran ref, Jay Nady is the third man inside the ropes, and they're scheduled for four. Quite two rounds, okay? We're going to sweat that. Good luck. Touch gloves. Let's go to work. We're going to sweat that. Armenta has only won once in his last three with a draw in there. But the good news is his one loss for Armenta, it was a majority decision. So with a little luck, he could be coming into this fight right. undefeated, Mr. Armenta. Bogary is unbeaten, 11-0. The Lion. So Armenta the ring with that full lion headdress. Takes great pride in his African heritage from Uganda. And they're swinging away early. Right hand from Bogary. But he leaves himself a little bit open as well. Most of the fights for Armenta have been in Mexico. His only laws took it place outside of Mexico. Bulgari should be sharp. He's been very busy this year, Joe. This is eight fights since January, averaging one fight per month. Doubles up that left hand. I mean, that helps a fighter when he's been in that ring that often. He gets calmer, gets more confident. He feels the way Bulgari feels right now, sharp. Whoa. Bogary's quick, but again, he has that little disease of the quick man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll reach in a little bit. And if Armenta is ready, ready to play something as he reaches in, he can have a little success. Caught him off balance that time with that left. It did not land flush. You could see that Bulgari, he likes to pick his spots. It's a little faster than Armenta. If I'm meant to wait too long, he'll jump in. Stop it. Other spots, he'll use the ring, he'll move back a little bit, try to get Armenta reaching a little bit. Lay some traps. And right there was one of those traps. Bogari likes to step back a little bit and set up that counter left hook. Right now, Armenta hasn't gotten his feet under him, Joe. You could just see that physically and mentally, you know, he... He hasn't settled into the fight no, at all. No, he really hasn't. Bulgari came out, he got to jump on him, established himself as the boss, and right now Armenta trying to settle down a little bit, trying to get his bearings, and he's having trouble doing that. He's been blitzed a little bit, Armenta. Well, he's been lying. Maybe that, maybe he didn't get over the, he's the still, visual, the he's visual. He's still shocked by the fact that he came down to the ring in a cage, dressed as a lion. 
That's the first show we've ever had a hundred pound pit bull come down on the ring walk and then a caged lion come to the ring. No, it's I don't know that we'll have another one. Hopefully not. But so far it's been a clean ring and we're grateful for that. And right now, Bulgari is grateful for his quick hands. Circus will continue after this. ESPN Friday Night Fights presented by Just For Men Hair Color knocks out the gray better than ever. Painting a Buffalo Bill Cody. We are at Buffalo Bills here in Prim, Nevada, right on the state line border. Half an hour south of Vegas earlier tonight, we saw Alfredo Angulo dismiss Gabriel Rosado in the second round, scoring three knockdowns. Anthony Durrell also moved forward unbeaten. And there is Sharif Bogary off balance here in round number two against Rodolfo Armento. Bogary 11 and 0. Well, maybe Armento gets a chance to settle down. Oh, hands in. Have to be kept off bounds, being attacked so quickly by the quick handed Bulgari. Your mentor didn't seem to be ready, but now he's definitely not ready as his legs go away and his body goes another. A la Trevor Burbick, Mike Tyson, or Zap Judah comes to Zoo. Little floppy fish dance there. Little wobbly wobbly right there. Right he now, still doesn't settle there. No, but Bulgari needs to. Bogley needs to stay calm, and that fight is being stopped. The corner, the referee looked up, and they saw the corner of Armenta stopping it, so the referee pulled it off. Talking about being blitzed, Armenta was definitely blitzed tonight. Yeah, the lion has roared. It seemed like Armenta never got a chance to settle into this fight. Again, with the quick-handed Bulgari, Coming out of that cage with the lion gob on and jumping right on him. You know, there's something that happens sometimes on our shows, and I, I think possibly it was the case tonight. Sometimes guys just melt under the TV lights. They melt under the setting, the atmosphere, the whole thing. And then you add in the outrageous ring entrance of Bogary, and Armenta just could never settle in. And then add in one other thing. Armenta's hands were wide. Yes. Everything he threw was fat. His technique was not as good as Bulgari. His hands were not as fast. You mix that in, and the lion roars tonight. And excuse me for that line, but I couldn't help it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Matter of fact, I don't know why the music for Bulgari, they have everything else in place. Why don't they have the music? What's that song? The lion roars tonight? In the jungle? In the jungle. In the jungle. Karaoke night with Teddy Atlas. Here's how he finishes him off. <laughs> and there it is. Take another look right here. Quick hands by Bulgari using the jab, doing it technically right, using the quick jab to set up the right hand. Watch the equilibrium loss by Armenta. Here's the end of the fight, but that one motion where he tries to step forward but does not have his legs. You've seen that before. As you said, it brings you back to when Mike Tyson, Trevor Burbick, right? knocked out Trevor Burbick and solidified all the heavyweight titles. That's my man. Sharif Bogari, 12 and 0, seven knockouts. Outrageous as ever. More Friday Night Fights when we return. Stay with us.